ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਵਰਜ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਏ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿਚ ਵਾਸ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ਡ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਔਨ ਜੂਨ 6 ਡਿਊਰਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਅ ਪਰਸਨੈਲਿਟੀ ਹੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਦਾ ਇਮੈਂਸ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਅ ਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੈਜ਼ ਗਿਵਨ ਹਿਮ ਗੁਰਸਿੱਖੀ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਐਸ ਦਾ ਵੰਡਰਫੁਲ ਆਰਟ ਆਫ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਵਿਦਆਊਟ ਐਨੀ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਟੀਚਰ ਇਨ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ he has so far set 14 world records in the field of this art and has also acted as a teacher in a nearby town school he does an excellent job in various painting styles example abstract oil water acrylic stone clay modeling calligraphy and 3d painting It's my pleasure to introduce you to Veer Nirpa Singh Rai who is living a very simple life with his 14 year old son Gurkirat Singh. His wife and mother are located in the village Chandu Raiya near Maler Kotla. He had a childhood without a fi- father figure in his life. Since childhood he has been eager to do something special and big in his life. Amarjeet Kaur Panji got in touch with him 3 to 4 years ago from a friend's Facebook page. She organized an exhibition of his paintings at our Gurdwara Sahib. Some Sangat members bought the paintings for their homes. Recently Gurdwara Sahib's management reached out to him to make paintings related to Sikh history. some of the paintings you saw during the may 24th virtual telecasted program example the paintings of baba deep singh ji where it is shown that baba ji had drawn the line and said to singhs to only cross it if they are ready to attain martyrdom to maintain the dignity of harmandar sahib amritsar the singhs had happily crossed the line This situation arose when Ahmed Shah Abdali on his way out from India after the fourth invasion asked his son Taimur Shah to exterminate the Sikhs who started filling the sarovars of Gurdwara Sahib with mud and alcohol Baba Deep Singh ji said enthusiastically Jo to prem khelan ka chao sir tar tali gali meri aao it marg pair tri jai sir di jai kaan na ki jai sir di jai kaan na ki jai We will introduce you to the rest of the paintings today Stay with us till the end of the program the children of our own sangat will tell you about the paintings when gurdwara sahib opens you will notice the paintings on the wall this episode is dedicated to martyrs of 1984 attack of shri akal takht sahib now let's get to hear virji's work from his own words with subtitles wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fateh ਮੈਂ ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰ ਨਰਪੈਸ ਸਿੰਘ ਰਾਏ ਪਿੰਡ ਚੰਦੂਰਾਈਆਂ ਜ਼ਿਲ੍ਹਾ ਸੰਗਰੂਰ ਤਹਿਸੀਲ ਮਲੇਰ ਕੋਲਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੂੰਗਾ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮ ਟੀਵੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਚੈਨਲ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਣੇ ਕਲਾ ਦਾ ਵਿਸਥਾਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੂੰਗਾ ਵੀ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਬਚਪਨ ਤੋਂ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਬਚਪਨ ਤੋਂ ਹੀ ਮੈਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਲਾ ਵੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਮੁੜਿਆ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਹਾਲਾਤ ਕਰਕੇ ਫਾਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਘਰ ਤੋਂ ਚਲੇ ਗਏ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਮੈਂ ਤੀਜੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਚ ਪੜਦਾ ਸੀ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਅਜ ਤੱਕ ਵਾਪਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਏ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਦਰਦ ਸੀ ਉਹ ਬੜਾ ਦਿਲ ਨੂੰ ਕੁੰਬਦਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਦਰਦ ਕਾਰਨ ਮਤਲਬ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਕਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾਇਆ ਤੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨਾ ਜਿਹਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਸੀ ਮਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਖਿਆਲ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਕੁਝ ਵੱਖਰਾ ਕਰਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਵੱਖਰਾ ਕਰਾਂ ਘਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀਆਂ ਸੀ ਇੱਕ ਬੱਚੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਅੱਗੇ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੂੰ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਕੀਤੀ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਕੁਝ ਅਜਿਹਾ ਦੇ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਵੱਡਾ ਕਰਾਂ ਸੋ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੇ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਅਜਿਹੀ ਅਲਖ ਜਗਾਈ ਅਜਿਹੀ ਮਤਲਬ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਜੋਤ ਜਗਾਈ ਮੇਰੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਕਲਾ ਦੀ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਹੁਕਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੂੰ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਕਰ ਤਾਂ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਿੰਡ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਡੇ ਘਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਿਸ਼ਤੇਦਾਰੀ ਚ ਦੂਰ ਦੂਰ ਤੱਕ ਕੋਈ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਜੱਟ ਸਿੱਖ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਰੱਖਦਾ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਅੰਦਰੋਂ ਹੁਕਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਲਾ ਨੂੰ ਅਪਣਾ ਲੈ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਕਰ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ
ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹ ਸੋਚਿਆ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਆਉਂਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਰਾਂ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਕਰਾਂ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਸਮੇਂ ਇਹ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਵੀ ਨਿਕਲੀ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਜੇ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਸਿਖਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਕਦਾ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋਲ ਸਿੱਖਣ ਜਾਣਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਤੂੰ ਹੀ ਬਣ ਜਾ ਸੋ ਉਸ ਦਿਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂ ਮੰਨ ਲਿਆ ਸੀ ਪੈਨਸਲ ਚੱਕੀ ਸੀ ਕੱਚੀ ਪੈਨਸਲ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕਾਗਜ਼ ਤੇ ਬਣਾਉਂਦਾ 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 ਕਦ ਮੈਂ ਚਿੱਤਰਕਾਰ ਨਰਪੈ ਸਿੰਘ ਰਾਏ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਤੱਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਸ ਗੱਲ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲੇ ਕਲਾ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਅੰਦਰੂਨੀ ਗਹਿਰੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੈਗੀਆਂ ਪ੍ਰਵੇਸ਼ ਕਰ ਗਈਆਂ ਦਿਮਾਗ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਮਤਲਬ ਮੈਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਹੋਰ ਵੱਧਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੋਰ ਵੱਧਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹੈਗੇ ਮੈਂ 700 ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਬਣਾ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਕੰਮ ਕਰ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੂੰਗਾ ਵੀ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਇੱਕ ਅਜਿਹਾ ਆਨੰਦ ਹੈ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰਾ ਦਿਨ ਡੁੱਬਿਆ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਪਾਗਲ ਹੋਇਆ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਸੋ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਪਜਦਾ ਕੀ ਆ ਹੁਣ ਅੱਜ ਮੈਂ ਇਸ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਉਹ ਚੋਂ ਉਪਜਦਾ ਕੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਚੋਂ ਨਿਕਲਿਆ ਕੀ ਤੇ ਅੱਜ ਬੜੇ ਫਕਰ ਨਾਲ ਬੜੇ ਮਾਣ ਨਾਲ ਮਤਲਬ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਸਿਹਰਾ ਬੰਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੇ ਸਿਰੇ ਬੰਨਾ ਵੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਫਕਰ ਤੇ ਮਾਣ ਨਾਲ ਕਹਿ ਰਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਕਲਾ ਚ ਉਪਜਿਆ ਕੀ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਮੇਰੇ 14 ਵਰਲਡ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਨੇ 14 ਵਿਸ਼ਵ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਬਣਾ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆ ਜੀ ਤੇ 14 ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਅਜਿਹੀਆਂ ਬਣਾ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਆ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕੋ ਹੀ ਪੀਸ ਆ ਉਹ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਆ ਤੇ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਮੈਂ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਟੈਲੀਗ੍ਰਾਫੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਵੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਉੜੇ ਆੜੇ ਤੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਤੇ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਮਾਂ ਬੋਲੀ ਦੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਗਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਲਮ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਲਿਖ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੋ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੀਆਂ ਪੀੜ੍ਹੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਵੀ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੀਆਂ ਪੀੜ੍ਹੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਸਿਖਾਵਾਂ ਤੇ ਦੱਸਾਂ ਸਮਝਾਵਾਂ ਤੇ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਪ੍ਰਫੁੱਲਤ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਪਾਵਾਂ ਤੇ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਨਾ ਕਲਮ ਨਾਲ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਲਿਖ ਰਿਹਾ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਲਿਖ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਸਿਖਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਅੱਗੇ ਤੇ ਦੋ ਬੱਚੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮੇਤੋਂ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੇ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਚੋਂ ਗੋਲਡ ਮੈਡਲ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਉਹ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਹੱਥ ਨਾਲ ਲਿਖ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਜੀ ਤੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਚਾਹੂੰਗਾ ਵੀ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਮਹਾਨ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗਾਂ ਬਣਾਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਰਲਡ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਨੇ ਅਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਕੀਮਤੀ ਗੱਲ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਥੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੀਮਤੀ ਗੱਲ ਇੱਕ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਨਾ ਵਰਲਡ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਬਣਾਉਣ ਦਾ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮਤਲਬ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਆਇਆ ਉਦੋਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਅੱਜ ਤੋਂ 2015 ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਹੈ 2015 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਵਰਲਡ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕੀ ਆ ਵਰਲਡ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਕਿਹਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਬਣਦਾ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਬਣਦਾ ਤੇ ਹੈਰਾਨੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਇਹ ਆ ਵੀ ਮਤਲਬ 2015 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਬੱਚਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ ਅਖਬਾਰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਸਰ ਦੇਖੋ ਜੀ ਗਰੀਜ ਬੁੱਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਰਲਡ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਬਣਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਬਣਦਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਇਹੋ ਜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਬਣਾ ਦਿਓ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪੂਰੇ ਵਰਲਡ 'ਚ ਇੱਕੋ ਹੀ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਵਰਗੀ ਕੋਈ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੋਰ ਹੋਵੇ ਨਾ ਫਿਰ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਵਰਲਡ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਬਣ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਸ
ਸੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖਿਓ ਬੜਾ ਕਮਾਲ ਦਾ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬੜੀ ਰੂਹ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਤੇ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਮੇਂ ਚ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਮਤਲਬ ਬੜਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਣਾ ਸਿੱਖ ਇਤਿਹਾਸ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਥੋੜੀ ਆਰਥਿਕਤਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਮਤਲਬ ਮੈਂ ਕਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਕਰੋ ਪ੍ਰਚਾਰ ਕਰੋ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਕਲਾ ਰਹੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹਣਾ ਤੇ ਕਲਾ ਰਹੀ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਚਲੋ ਮੌਕਾ ਵੀ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਚਲੋ ਕੁਝ ਆਰਥਿਕਤਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਕੁਝ ਰੁਕਾਵਟਾਂ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਪਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੇ ਕਲਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਅਜਿਹਾ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਸਾਹਮਣੇ ਧਰੂੰਗਾ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਬਾ ਕਮਾਲ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਸੋ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮ ਟੀਵੀ ਚੈਨਲ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮੌਕਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਬਲਬਲੇ ਰੱਖਣ ਦਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਿਲ ਦੀਆਂ ਰੂਹ ਦੀਆਂ ਗਹਿਰਾਈਆਂ ਰੱਖਣ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੌਕਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਵੀਰ ਹਰਬਲ ਦੀਪ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਕਰਦਾ ਜੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਪਿਆਰ ਸਤਿਕਾਰ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਬੋਲਣ ਦਾ ਮੌਕਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਪੇਂਟਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਹਰਮੰਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਹਰਮੰਦਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਵਿਚ ਮੀਨਸ ਦ ਅਬੋਡ ਆਫ ਗੋਡ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਨੋਨ ਐਸ ਦਰਬਾਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਮੋਸਟ ਰਿਵੀਅਰਡ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਸਾਈਟਸ ਆਫ ਸਿੱਖਿਜ਼ਮ ਐਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਲੋਕੇਟਿਡ ਇਨ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤਸਰ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਦ ਟੈਂਕ ਆਫ ਨੈਕਟਰ ਆਫ ਇਮੋਰਟੈਲਿਟੀ ਵਾਸ ਫਾਉਂਡਡ ਇਨ 1577 ਬਾਈ ਦ ਫੋਰਥ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਔਰ ਰਾਮਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਦ ਫਿਫਥ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਜਨ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ designed the Hermandir Sahib to be built upon the center of this tank and upon its construction we saw the other ground inside the Hermandir Sahib containing the bani written by the first five guru sahibs and the 15 bhagats and sufis and nominated baba budha ji as the first ganti guru arjan dev ji as muslim sufi hazrat mia mir to lay the foundation stone showing the world the true message of religion promoting interfaith dialogue and interaction the Hermandir Sahib complex is also home to Kaltak meaning the throne of the timeless one constituted by the sixth guru guru hargobind sahib ji guru sahib gave mirian period principles to six while the hermandir sahib regarded as a seat of period god's spiritual attribute the akaltak is of miri means god's temporal authority it is also one of the five taks for the six for religious issues is considered the sixth supreme court there are four doors to get into the hermandir sahib which symbolizes the openness of the six towards all people and religions over 100,000 people from all kinds of religions visit their bar side daily and partake in community service and longer serve without any discrimination of any kind the present day gurdwara sahib was rebuilt in 1764 by the jassa singh alawaliya in the help of the other sikh missiles after it was damaged during the invasion of afghanistan ruler ahmed shah abdali During the early 19th century, Maharaja Ranjit Singh secured the Punjab region from outside attacks and donated the gold which covered the upper floors of the Gurdwara, which gives it its distinctive appearance and English name, Golden Temple. The Darbar Sahib complex is housed to six plus more historic Gurdwara Sahibs within the boundary, including the martyrdom place of Shaheed Baba Deep Singh Ji and Baba Atal Rai Ji. It is every six desire to visit the Darbar Sahib and most of us in foreign countries don't feel like our trip back home is complete if we would not visit darbar sahib for any reason why guru ji ka khalsa why guru ji ki fateh why guru ji ka khalsa why guru ji ki fateh this painting relates to baba motira mera ji and his family motira mera was a cook in the mughal ruler wazir khan's kitchen mata gujri ji and the younger sahib that they were imprisoned in the thanda burj mata gujri ji refused to accept food from Mughal kitchen at Diwan Sachanan's house. Hearing this, Motina Mera could not bear to see Sahib Zade and Mataji sleeping hungry. He told his family about the situation and wished to serve them milk. His mother and wife were very frightened and tried to precede him not to take a such a step since Wazir Khan had made an announcement in the town that whoever helps or serves any type of food to Mataji and Sahib Zade along with their family would be crushed alive in a kolu which is an old squeezer as shown in this painting he replied humbly dear mother our guru is fighting against the injustice of the mughal i don't fear the f- punishment of faj dar history will not forgive us if we do not serve mata ji and sahib zade seeing and sensing his determination his wife gave him her jewelry and some coins and told him to bribe the guards of the burj to keep this act a secret mahu mutti ram ji was blessed to serve milk and water to sahib zade and mata ji for 3 nights 
On 27 December 1704, the Sahib Zadeh had received Marty Dorn. Mata Gujariji had also left her body after a few days. Pumada, brother of Gangu, told Wazir Khan that his cook had served them milk. Baba Muttira Mera and his family success, couldn't successfully conceal his act and told Wazir Khan that it was his dharam to serve them. So Baba Muttira Mera and his entire family were sentenced to death by crushing through Kolu as shown in this painting. His sacrifices was first ser- sermonized by Baba Banta Singh Bahadur Ji. We salute to the sacrifice of Baba Muti Ram Ji and his family. Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. This painting is before the cruel assassination of Baba Banda Singh Bahadur. When 106 were killed very brutally that continued for seven days. After taking Amrit from Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Baba Banda Singh Bahadur got victory over Sarhand and other Mughal ruled areas and created Khalsa Raj in Punjab. He even took over a mint factory and started coins and stamps under the name of Guru Nanak Sahib and Guru Gobind Singh Ji Sahib. Mughals could not digest all this and Baba Banda Singh's popularity. In December 1715, new ruler Farak Sayyar, after the death of the previous ruler Bahadur Shah, arrested Banda Singh along with 700 Singhs. On one side, they, for seven days, they were daily killing 100 Singhs, as shown in the painting. And on the other side, they were brutally torturing Baba Banda Singh Ji. They were pressuring him to accept Islam. Their tortures went to the level that they made his four-year-old son sit in his lap and asked him to kill his own son. Upon Baba Ji's refusal, they took out the little boy's heart and forcefully tried to push it into Baba Ji's mouth. After much more torturous actions on Baba Ji's body, they eventually assassinated him in June 1716 but could not shake the Sikhi Siddhaq of Baba Ji. We salute to the sacrifices of Baba Banda Singh Ji and all the other Singhs who attained Shahidi along with him. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh! Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. This painting relates to the martyrdom of Bhai Mani Singh Ji. Bhai Mani Singh Ji was born on March 10, 1644 in the village Alipur. His father was Rao Mai Das and his mother was Madhuri Bhai. Bhai Mani Singh Ji played an important role in Sikh history. He was a writer, a preacher, and a brave soldier. In 1691, Bhai Mani Singh Ji was appointed as the Guru's minister after Nanchan. Zakriya Khan was a fanatic Muslim and governor of Lahore in those days. He didn't allow Sikhs to visit Ambedkar and bathe in the holy river, and had deputed them on Lakhpat Rai for this purpose. He didn't allow Sikhs to assemble and celebrate the Wali at Darbar Sahib unless Bhai Mani Singh Ji paid him 5,000 rupees. Bhai Mani Singh Ji agreed but soon found out that the governor wasn't sincere and was actually planning to kill the Sikhs when they gathered at the Durbar Sahib. So Bhai Mani Singh Ji again sent a message to all the Sikhs of Punjab not to come. Bhai Mani Singh Ji was arrested for non-payment of the money that was promised to the governor. He was given these choices, convert to Islam, pay 5,000 rupees, or be chopped up into pieces limb by limb. Bhai Sahib refused to convert or give the payment. So as shown in the painting, he was cut into pieces while he kept reciting Gurbani. He was murdered in June 1734 at the age of 90. At that place stands a Gurdwara Sahib called Shaheed Ganj. We salute to the sacrifice of Bhai Mani Singh Ji. Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Ki Fateh. This painting is from the time when Mir Manu tortured the Sikh women and their children in jails. Mir Manu became the new governor of Lahore in April 1748. He was not happy to see the growing population of Sikhs and wanted to finish them off. The Sikhs left his territory and moved to other states. When Mir Manu came to know about Sikhs gathering at Amritsar for Diwali, he sent his army and that Shilantar army commander, Adina Bey, to help him in finishing off the Sikhs. 
After two months of starting 506 in the fort of Ram Roni, Jasha Singh Ramgurya, who was in the Jalandhar army, deserted the army and joined forces with the Sikhs, and hence Mughal army had lost this battle. In the meantime, when Abdali from Afghanistan invaded India, Mir Manu made peace, peace with the Sikhs. During the third invasion of Abdali, Mir Manu's army of Lahore started attacking Dal Khalsa, which angered Sikhs to leave the army and hence resulted in the defeat of the battle. He again planned to finish off the Sikhs. He announced a 10 rupees ward for a person who bought a Singh's head or told about Singh's whereabouts. People in greed were getting Singh's and their families arrested. They were brought to Lahore where Singh's were beheaded and their families sentenced to jail. Every woman was given 40 pounds of grain to grind in each day of jail. A very heavy stone was placed on the chest of one who could not. Their children were cut into pieces and garlands of those were put around their mother's necks, which is shown in the painting. In the whole day, they were only fed a quart of bread and a bowl of water. Submitting to the God of will of God, those tolerated all. In November 1753, when Mir Manu died, Singh set the sick prisoners free. We salute to the sacrifice of the sick men and women and their children. Wai Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wai Guruji Ki Fateh. Wai Guruji Ka Khalsa, Wai Guruji Ki Fateh. This painting relates to Shahidi of Wai Jai Singh Ji. Wai Jai Singh was a Sikh living in the village of Mughal Majra near Patiala. He was a loving, humble Guru Sikh and had a great love for the Guru Sahib. One day in 1753, Bai Jai Singh Ji was in deep meditation while reciting Vaheguru when Muslim governor Abdul Khan passed by. Bai Jai Singh Ji didn't get up or salute Abdul Khan as he didn't notice him. His second in command kicked him awake and ordered him, wake up, carry the Nawab's baggage. Bai Jai Singh Ji replied, can you please tell me what is in the bag that you have asked me to carry? The Mughal said it was tobacco and hookah of the Nawab. Bai Jai Singh Ji refused to touch the bag and said, It is my Guru's hukum that I cannot touch the tobacco, let alone carry the bag containing it. Bai Sa was dragged to the nearest tree and his feet were tied to the branches with his body hanging downwards. Using sharp blades, they peeled off the skin from Bai Sa's entire body, starting from the feet. Within minutes, his whole body and the ground became red with blood. Along this barbaric torture, Vaya Sa was repeating Vaiguru, Vaiguru, Vaiguru with his consciousness attached to a culprit. After Bai Sahib's martyrdom, the Nawab ordered for Bai Sahib's whole family to be killed with cruelty. Vaya Jai Singh and his entire family attained Shahidi, martyrdom, maintaining Sikhi and Rehat. When the Khalsa heard of this great tragedy, they attacked the barbaric Mughals of the village Mughal Majra. We salute and remember the sacrifice of Guru Sahib's great Guru Sikhs during Ardas daily. This painting is shown by Kanyaji serving water to wounded soldiers. Bai Kanyaji was born in 1648 in Swadara in Pakistan. As an educated young teenager, he would fill his pockets with coins and share with needy and spend his spare time with holy men. He would wait on the paths of the village for labor workers and carry their load for some distance, even though he was from a well-to-do family and didn't need to do labor work. After his father's death, he developed this longing even further to live his life for others and wanted to find the true purpose of his life. He came to know about Guru Teg Bahadur Ji through some Gursikhs. Eventually, upon meeting, Guru Sahib initiated Bai Sahib and explained to him about Nansimran and Rahat. Seeing his passion for Seva, he was assigned Seva as a water carrier for Guru Sahib's bath, for washing clothes, and for preparing meals. He became in charge of Langer, arranging Guru Sahib's bed and looking after his horses. Bai Sahib carried this seva for about 17 years, and eventually Guru Sahib blessed him with Brahm Gyan and told him to go to a place of his choice and establish 
a dharamshala to serve people and impart them divine knowledge, na, which he did in village Kawa in the northwest Punjab. After the martyrdom of Guru Sahib in Delhi, he left Kawa to serve 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Rai Ji, in Anandpur Sahib. Soon the city was under attack by Rajputs and Mughals. Guru Sahib asked him to do water seva for the Sikhs fighting in the battle, which he did without any discrimination. Upon complaint from other Sikhs, Guru Sahib inquired from him, to which he replied, I see you only, my master in every person. I cannot distinguish between the Turks, the Sikhs, and you. Guru Sahib smilingly looked at his Sikhs and said that he understood the deeper message of the Guru's teachings correctly, and they all should strive to learn to live like him. Guruji then hugged him close and even gave him a bomb to put on the wounded. Guruji said that many more will follow your footsteps and keep the tradition of Nishkam Seva alive, which you see today through Casa Aid, United Six, Sikh Coalition, Saldef, Nishkam TV, and many more organizations. Bye Guruji Ka Khalsa, Bye Guruji Ki Fateh. Bye Guruji Ka Khalsa. Wai Guru Ji Ki Fateh Ji. This painting is showing Bota Singh and Garja Singh collecting toll tax from passers-by. In 1739, Zakriya Khan was up to finishing off the six. Rewards were offered for their capture and extermination. It was declared lawful to plunder sick houses and to seize their property. Thousands of Sikhs were murdered and even cartloads of their heads were taken to Lahore to obtain rewards from Zakriya Khan. Under such conditions of persecution, Sikhs took shelter in the Shavalik Hills, Lakke Jungle, and the Sandy Desert. The few who still chose to remain in Madja had to pass their days in local forests, bushes, or by taking shelter in the Sajdari Sikh houses. Some Muslims and even Hindus would taunt that the Sikhs were afraid of appearing in planes. Mm. Such taunts would cause some daring Sikhs to come out of their hiding places and make their presence felt by openly challenging authorities. Two of them were Bhutta Singh and Garja Singh, who in spite of the governor's ban on visiting Amrsa, would sometimes go to have a dip in the holy tank in the night and then disappear into the bushes near Tharan Tharan. One day, a party of warfarers noticed Bota Singh and Garja Singh near Nurdin. One of them said, look there in the bushes, two Sikhs. The other replied, they can't be true Sikhs. They must be some cowards who are afraid of showing their faces in the open. The Sikhs are not afraid of coming out. This remark pinched the Singhs. They knew that the Sikh of the Guru Gobind Singh Ji is as brave as the lions. So they decided to come out and make their presence felt, even to the government. They took a position on the Grand Trunk Road near Sarai Muddin and began to collect a toll of one anna per cart and one pesa per donkey load. No one dared to refuse the demand and nobody reported it to the government either. Both the Singhs aim in collecting the toll was to prove to Zakaria Khan, in spite of all his efforts to exterminate six, that they were very much in existence. He instead informed the governor through a letter. The governor, highly enraged, sent a force of 100 horsemen to arrest him. But the two six refused to surrender and died fighting after nearly demolishing the Mughal soldiers. Their only weapons were big sticks cut from kikur trees. We salute the bravery of the and the sacrifice of the Sangs. Wai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wai Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Many thanks to Virji for informing us about himself and his art. Thanks to all the kids as well to tell us about the paintings. We are also very grateful to Herbal Virji and his family for taking the time to visit Nirbha Singh Virji during their last visit to Punjab.
Also, thank you for the support of NESSE because of which we were able to bring these interviews and paintings to you through Nishkam TV. We released the Punjabi version of this episode on 6th June because that was the day when Indian government concluded the attacks on Shri Akal Takat Sahib with the martyrdom of Sant Jannal Singh Ji, who once again laid down his life to uphold the dignity of Harmandar Sahib Amritsar. Whenever a ruling authority attacks the dignity of Gurdwara Sahibs, the Sikh community will fight back and will continue to do so. Akal Takat Sahib was established by Guru Har Gobind Sahib, was badly damaged by Indian government in 1984, which is shown in the painting of Painter Virji. The misconception was spread by Indian government that they attacked because Santji was hiding there. But truth is that the government had been planning to attack the Akal Takht since 1981, due to which Santji had to move to Akal Takht Sahib to protect the dignity of our main Takht. We hope you enjoyed the program. We are also very grateful to all of you to watch the program. To get paintings made of any kind, you can contact Amarjeet Penji or inquire from Virji's website mentioned below. Wahi Gurji Ka Khalsa, Wahi Gurji Ki Fateh.